Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss one more interesting topic how to calculate the next business working day. Last year I made a video about how to calculate total working days excluding Saturday and Sunday. Here it is. Right. So based on that there is a query which was asked by a user that how we can get to know about the next business working days that is we need to exclude saturdays and sunday and if you select a date and from that if you add like 10 15 days what is the next business working day so let's dig into it how to do that if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications now let's get started Okay, this is my Power BI file. So here, for an example, I have selected 1st December as working day. Now, if I select here one day, then it is adding me as 2nd December here. This is the result one. And if I add three days from here, then one, one, two, three. It is Saturday. So it is skipping Saturday and it is skipping Sunday and it is giving me the next business working day is 6th of December. If I select 7 here, so 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 is Wednesday, right? But actually, it is giving me answer 10. This is because there are two holidays are there. So if I add 1 and then 7 days and then plus 2 holidays, Saturdays and Sundays, then it is total 9 days. So 1 plus 9 is showing as 10 December. Now if I increase this for an example like 15 days. So 1 plus 15 it has to show 15, 16 right. Now it is showing 20 is because there are two weekends are there. So if you look at from 1st of December. So we have Saturday and Sunday here as weekends. And if you scroll down still we have Saturday and Sunday here. So it is adding 1 plus 15 and then plus 4 as weekends. It is giving me the answer as 20 December. This is cool, right? So how I have done that? Basically, for this one, the number of days, I have just added new parameter. I have made a video about this what if parameters. If you haven't seen that, please go and check out that video. Link given in the description and above the window. So now coming back here. So this is a kind of slicer. So that I can select any of the value from here. Just for a user manual interaction, I have given this option. So if they select any of the dates from here at 10 days, so it will add as 14 here. So let's see one more time. So if I add here 1 and then 10 days, it has to give me 11. So basically 11 is Saturday and 12 is Sunday. And then I need to add two more days, right? So it is adding me two more days here. So it is giving me here as 14. This is correct, right? Which is Tuesday. That's correct. So now coming back here to the formula. So this looks like a bit long, right? So don't worry about that. I will go one by one. So basically, first thing I'm getting it from a measure, which is how many days value, which is nothing but is just a slicer selection. If I go back to this measure, it is giving me the value of selected value of how many days here. This is the one. So basically this is the selected value, right? This is the selected value we have seen. And now we have selected date. So selected date is basically the selected value of the calendar date. So basically if I go back again to this one, this is the selected value. Here I have selected 1st of December and this I have selected 10th num 10 number of days, right? So if I go back to this measure again, okay, now I need to calculate the max date. So basically what I am doing here is selecting the date, which is the 1st of December plus 1st December plus 10 days, right? So it needs to add me, give me is equal to 11 days here. And now I need to calculate the total number of weekends available to that. So here what I'm doing first of all using the calculate function 
and inside to that I'm just counting the date here so I'm removing all the filters from here this is the first one because whatever the filter applied to this table it has to remove then only I can able to calculate the complete one and then I am going to count the number of days between the selected date and the maximum date so basically dates between this calendar date this is a minimum date and this is the maximum date right so whatever we have selected here here in our example the first of December is the minimum date and then plus 11 days that is 11th of December is the maximum date okay so after doing all these things I am again trying to do is reducing the dates here by Saturday and Sunday to there so this gives me a list of table and inside to that it will add the weekend count it will just give me the count of weekends here so here in our example if we go in this here if I cancel this so here till 11 right so 10 1 plus 10 equal to 11 so Saturday one here Saturday and Sunday here so totally three counts are there if I go back to this measure again so the result which I got from this one is 3 so the maximum date which we have selected here is 11th of December right so 11th of December plus 3 that is equal to 14 so we got the value of 14 now now the next challenge is even though if we add those value the 14th date what if that comes in Saturday and Sunday that's also possible right so that's why I am making one more calculation here the bottom if format of the result which is the 14th of December and I'm formatting it to three date format if it falls under Saturday then I'm asking it to add it by 2 if it is not if this falls under Sunday then I'm asking this to add one more days if it is not falling either in Saturday or in Sunday then it has to show whatever the result it is so if you go back here to the result so 1 plus 10 equal to 11 which comes of 3 days and 11 plus 3 is 14 and if you look at 14 here it's Tuesday and that's why it is showing as plain as Tuesday this is great right so this is how we can able to achieve this calculation of the next business working day in Power BI if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it in the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video